Hi guys, I'm back. Um, happy Sunday to you all. I hope you you guys are having a good Sunday today. Okay, the video that I'll be doing today is basically to um, show you guys how I air dry my hair. But before I get into the video, I like I would like to thank all my 40 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to me and stay tuned, more videos will be coming. Um, I'd also like to advise you guys that I'm thinking about doing a prize giveaway when I'm at 200 or 250 subscribers. It will most likely be like Jamaican products, probably some Jamaican black castor oil and other stuff. So, you guys can introduce um, my videos to your friends and stuff like that and um, encourage them to subscribe. Okay, um, I not too long got out the shower. Um, I did my wash and deep condition with the deep condition that I mixed not too long ago. The video that I showed you guys not too long ago. So what I'm getting ready to do now is apply my Apogee Pro Vitamin Leave-In. I really need a spray bottle for this. But I'm going to go ahead and squirt some in my hand. My hair is actually fairly detangled. It's not that knotted up. I tried to ensure that I detangle my hair in the shower. Go ahead and take some more. Let me just go ahead and pour it in my hair instead. Guys, I'm telling you, it is so, so hot in Jamaica right now. The sun is out bright and shining and it's so hot. So if you guys see me sweaty, don't mind it because it, it's just really hot. And I'm inside my kitchen, so just a little bit. I tend to like to use um, a lot of leave-in conditioner. And my hair is actually feeling very, very soft right now. The deep condi the, um, the cholesterol did a very good job with mixed with the oil. Really did a good job. My hair is feeling so soft right now. I'm actually listening to some Usher jams right now. If you guys hear me singing you now and then, it's not. Please ignore it. I'm not a singer. <laughs> Okay, I think that does it for the Apogee leave-in. I'm telling you guys, my hair is feeling so, 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 so soft. Feels like butter. Okay, normally, after my Apogee leave-in, I normally like to use my Neutrogena Triple Moisture, but I'm running low. The box was almost empty. I should be getting some in the next week or so. So, for that, I'll be substituting with my Elastic QP Mango Butter. This is a very thick moisturizer, so I won't be using a lot of it. So I don't want my hair weighed down because I'll be flat ironing. So, I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use about this much. And it does distribute, distribute it throughout my hair. This actually smells really, really good, you guys. Really, really good. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit more. And distribute it towards my ends. One second, guys. Let me check the time. I'm okay. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply two drops of my hot six oil. One. It's about two or three drops. See, it's not a lot. And apply it throughout my hair as well, especially towards my ends.
One second, guys. Okay, then what I normally like to do is, as like I said, my hair is fairly detangled, but I'm going to go ahead and detangle it a little bit more. Make sure to use a white tooth comb and ensure that you start from the bottom of your, the ends of your hair. Don't ever start from the roots of your hair. It can um, cause a lot of unnecessary breakage if you start from the root. So try to ensure that you start from the bottom and work your way up. As I told you guys, my hair is basically detangled, so I'm not really doing any much combing right now. Guys, I am so hot. <laughs> so hot out here now, I'm sweating like crazy. But anyway. Okay, and I'm not losing a lot of hair right now. So what I'll do now is I'll take my, I think this is a bar bristle brush. I'm going to brush the edges a little bit. Matter of fact, I'm going to put a little bit more of my mango butter on the edges. I'm actually about five weeks post, almost five weeks post relaxer, but I tend to have a lot of new growth. I think my hair is on a hair, hair growth spurt right now. I have so much, I have close to an inch new growth in just about five weeks. So, I don't know exactly what's going on right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and brush, dust the edges. It is not really recommended that you use a brush on wet hair, but this is not a bad brush to use. And I'm just brushing the edges to keep them a little bit straight. Okay, normally what I do is I go ahead and pin up the back. One second guys. Okay. I apologize for being so unprepared right now. Okay, then what I do is I use my, you can use like an old t-shirt or anything of that sort, but I'm going to use my sat satin bonnet right now. So what I do is I go ahead and tie it around the front of my hair, like this, tie it pretty tight, and then I move it up. So it's like this. So what it does is it holds the front of your hair back, slick back, straight. And then you leave the ends hanging like this. Okay guys, I'm running out of time. Stay tuned for the next clip.